Call the police. Somebody's getting killed. Residents and businesses in one East York neighborhood in Toronto say they are being terrorized. The culprits, they say, students at a nearby school. It's 11 a.m. on a Wednesday here at Coxwell near O'Connor in East York. If you look outside, it's very quiet. There's not too much action. And then around 11.30, 11.45, you'll see a very packed Coxwell. Hundreds of students from two nearby schools make up the lunchtime rush. But instead of staying open... I've actually started to notice that, that more stores are closing. So in the lunchtime, sometimes if I see so many teenagers, I close the store. I don't open to them. This business owner did not want to be identified, concerned about her safety. I can't do anything about them. She joined several other business owners who've reached out to City News, complaining about items being stolen, verbal harassment, and fights. This video sent to City News shows hundreds of students rounding a taxi cab during the lunch hour recently after a fight. No arrests were ever made. They need to increase the security on Coxwell. Chris Nasinas owns Scara, a Greek restaurant here. The lunch crowd is good to him, mainly because he has strict rules in his store, but he's seen things go bad for other businesses. And nothing's been done yet, and it's actually gotten to the point where they're calling police. Business owners say they've tried complaining to police and the schools. The school don't care. The police don't care. They also say no response from their city representative, Councillor Brad Bradford, who City News reached out to as well. Quote, our office has flagged the complaints with community resource and the local school board representative, he told us in a statement, saying he'll work with the community to resolve further issues moving on. But business owners call on the nearby schools, East York Collegiate and East York Alternative, to do something. The school need to help us. Despite business owners saying they have called school officials, in a statement, a TDSB spokesperson said the schools were not notified of problems, saying, quote, should any concerns be brought to a school's attention, it would be addressed with students, their caregivers, and possible disciplinary action could be taken. While business owners say the vast majority of students behave, it's the few who don't making the most noise here. They're ruining it for the rest of the students as well, because certain students won't even come in to certain stores anymore because they see those type of crowds in there. As always, if you have an issue, story, or question you'd like us to look into, hit us up by visiting the Speaker's Corner tab on the City News website. Pat Taney, City News.